What's up, YouTube? Irish with MC Fay. Hey, guys and gals. I'm here working on a Dodge 2000 something Dodge Dart. And um, this stupid shift cable linkage that Dodge has designed very poorly, um, this thing right here, keeps popping off. So the bushing's been replaced twice. And uh, usually you have to move this big ass piece of plastic, right? Well, I got tired of doing that because there's two screws here, you gotta remove the wheel well, you gotta move this and that, and take the battery and the, the whole shebang out. You gotta take the battery out. So, I am tired of doing such things. So, I have resorted to a custom modification. And uh, this is a problem on all these cars. So what I've done is, I've taken this huge ass hole drill, and I don't know the size of it because it's wiped off now. But anyways, this problem keeps happening. So, instead of taking this four hours worth of taking the battery box out, I made sure there's no wires underneath there. And I drilled this big ass hole, which my big ass hand fits in. So, another problem that, like I said, is the problem, is this cool little bushing here that they want you to use. And as the car heats up, the engine bay causes it to get soft and it pops off. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is replace said bushing and that little stud there with a nut and bolt combo with a Teflon nut on it so it doesn't back off, doesn't fall off anymore. I'm going to keep the little rubber or the little, this little chintzy bushing in there. And as you can see, that's less than a year old. It's a Dodge only part. And I forget how expensive it was, but focus. Anyways, you get the picture. So if you have this problem, I would highly suggest you getting a hole saw. There we go. Zoom out and take this out. Whether you're gonna replace the bushing with said new replacement bushing from Dodge, um, it was a factory recall. It was replaced once, um, then they replaced it again. I replaced it once, so that's three times, and now I'm going to fix it. So, yep, just want to share. Dodge Dart, I looked up the video. The kid did a, Robert Young did a phenomenal job there, I guess, of showing you what all the crap you have to take out, but I'm not doing that again. So, there's the fix. Dodge, if you use this, I want to get royalties. You've seen it here first, so pay me. Pay me. Okay? If Dodge do, does this revision, I want in. They can make a plastic cap that goes over it. Whatever. The battery sits in here, bolts down. This thing is ridiculously, super retardedly reinforced. So, your computer goes on it and all that good jazz. But I'm not taking out the six 13 millimeter bolts, the two ground bolts, and all the other crap that goes along with it. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down. Bitches, most complaints, leave me in the comment section below. I'm Irish with some Vet, and this is your 2013 or 2012, 2000, whatever your Dodge Dart fix for the problem. Carbide bit, drill that out, push the bolt up through the bottom, put Teflon washer and nuts on it. See ya. Simplify Godspeed.